Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to get the most useful weather information onto one Apple Watch face. Most of the information we can take from Apple's built-in stock apps and complications. So this is the Apple Weather app, uh, a really useful, simple app with three features. The temperature throughout the day at the current location, the percentage chance of rain throughout the day, and the conditions at the current location. So what I'm going to do is pop to the home screen, force touch, customize my complications, and you can see I've added the weather conditions and the weather temperature from the stock Apple weather app. Now, Apple hasn't actually put the percentage chance of rain as a complication. So for that, I've downloaded an app called Rainface, which I'll quickly show you. So here, Rainface is a really sweet little app, a single screen watch app, which shows you if there's going to be any rain at home or at work. So that's quite useful because sometimes you might work and live in different locations uh, and if the app tells you it's not going to rain but doesn't know that you're going to a different location, not particularly useful. So this is a simple app that will tell you if you need to grab an umbrella when you're heading out for the day. You can edit the emojis so you can pick one for it's going to rain today and you can pick a different one for there'll be no rain today. And that emoji is really cute because it's going to show up as the complication on your watch face. So I customize the complications, add the rain face complication either as a, as a small modular complication or as a larger one. Uh, and I'll get the last time it was updated just so I know if I'm looking at the most recent information. The final complication I'm going to add is the sunrise and sunset. And there you go, my Apple Watch face will now tell me when the sun rises, if there's any rain forecast at home or at work, what the temperature is and what the current conditions are. Surely weather has got to be one of the best use cases for the Apple Watch face. I hope you enjoyed this video.